Hi, Allison, Sarah, and Michael. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Wonderful. I'm so well. So congratulations on this poetic and beautifully moving film. I saw it at TIFF and there wasn't a dry eye in the house, I have to tell you. It was a beautiful uh, reaction. So for all three of you, what did you like best about working with each other? I, th I think... I mean, I'll say for me, I mean, when you... A, there, there were... Incre like cr incredible collaborators but when you cast properly it's just a joy to watch performances happen and you can sort of maybe move it a bit like tune the instrument slightly but just to watch I, I was sort of surprised every day by what they brought and it was always I was just always watching to to, to be surprised and I was and and it, that was sort of the most fun for me I think working with these two wonderful people felt like such a gift um you know f first a role like this doesn't come along all the time um somebody who feels like such a full human you know adapted very beautifully by mike from from miriam's book um and and then to get to spend time with sarah and to really dive in with the two of them into the material in our like, you know, cozy little homes in North Bay in the midst of a pandemic. Like it was just, I mean, first getting to see people at all was uh, very exciting <laughs> at that point. <laughs> the fact that they were awesome was 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 a, a, a great addition to just be like, oh, humans, human contact. How exciting. Yeah, I would say just, you know, first and foremost, being able to to work you know, during the pandemic was such a, it felt like such a privilege. And then to be working on material that I think everyone felt such a deep connection to. And yeah, being able to just collaborate together was really just, it was really special. So for all three of you, what are some moments from the film or your rehearsal that you feel most proud of or most proud of each other's work? I think for, I mean, for me, the the specter of not being able to finish the film because we're going to get shut down for COVID reasons, every day that we got closer to the end and then finally finished felt like, we. Have, I felt like we were attempting karma to shoot this thing during sort of the height of COVID. And the fact that we actually were able to get it in the can was probably the greatest feeling I've ever had as a filmmaker <laughs> because I kept thinking you're an idiot for trying to do this now. So that was probably my, my highlight. <laughs> I think the hospital scenes between Sarah and I, which had to be calibrated so carefully as to what they were, what each of them was trying to say. And it's so rare that you have these kind of big page count scenes of just two people in a room talking you know, and, and to really carve out the moments of what each of those scenes was really about and where we were on the journey between acceptance of each other and anger and withdrawing and denial and all of those things, really trying to piece together with exactness what we were trying to say in each of those, which took, which took some, you know, which took work between all three of us to really um, to really find. I, I, yeah, I have to agree with Mike. I, I think so many, so many moments felt like this huge accomplishment. And that was kind of the gift of making this, this movie in, you know, the, the late fall of, of 2020. And so it was, you know, even if we were out on the railway tracks and we got this great shot, it felt like such a victory and a victory in a way that was almost like, what it felt like when you first started making movies or if Allison and I had these, you know, these mammoth scenes that at the end of the day felt like we were rehearsing a play um, and to kind of like be on the other side of them felt like this big accomplishment, but in a way that felt like at the very beginning when you started making movies. And, and I think just because of the nature of when we made the film and how we made it, it was almost like, everything felt like this this kind of win and everything felt exciting um in this very precious kind of way mm. so i know the rehearsal period was so instrumental to the film to the structure of the film to certain scenes in the film can you talk a little about that all three of you 
Yeah, I mean, I think that Allison really had introduced me to uh, this idea of rehearsal, which I was a little bit reluctant to to sort of dive into. But it just, it, as Allison said, it really made us understand what each scene was doing, especially tracking the hospital. And we did it with all the characters and, and the work that Sarah and Allison did to sort of do it, look at the scenes from their character's point of view, from the story point of view. And so when we got to set, we weren't having these discussions. We were like locked and ready to shoot. So it was really a blocking question and figuring out a way to, for me to let them be free to, 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 to perform the way they needed to rather than, okay, well, do we need this line? Cause we had done all that work before. And it was just such a huge gift is to step on the floor and, and, and shoot. I think nowadays you make, when you make an independent film, you know, we were saying earlier, we shot the movie in, in 20 days, right? You don't, you don't have any time when you're actually making an independent film. It's just kind of run and gun and everything is just jammed into this like very intensive pressure cooker of making a film. And the kinds of ideas that we were exploring and the relationship dynamics that we were exploring, they deserved to be fully kind of fleshed out and they deserve every nook and cranny of them deserve to be explored before he actually went to camera. And I think that that part of the process was just as much a part of the, as, as actually making the movie. Hmm. So tell me about some of your favorite memories from making the film and was it ramen nights? <laughs> <laughs> ramen nights. That was a crew of ramen nights. Uh, I mean, just watching the performers, watching Mayor Allison and Sarah uh, and Don, like just the, just the breadth of the performances, just to know that Miriam had written this beautiful novel. And then I, I can't imagine anybody else but, you know, Sarah and Allison playing these roles. And because I have cast wrong before and it's just, it is a challenge and it, it was the opposite in this. You can just watching the nuances every day was, was fantastic. I, I, you know, got to quarantine and have my kid and my mom with me for a lot of it, um, which was pretty special, just like in North Bay building snow people and like, sledding on the very small hill behind our little house and just um, sort of uh, experiencing this kind of strange, cozy safety in North Bay where cases stayed low and like things felt um, relatively safe. And it was just sort of this very odd kind of bubble of creative fulfillment and um, kind of mad parenting and like, <laughs> all of this other stuff that just felt like a very special um, uh, era. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Allison and I have known each other for so long since we were kids and we kind of keep coming in and out of each other's lives. And it was really amazing to kind of meet up with her again at this point in her life um, on a movie like this and, and just kind of see like, Oh, wow. You know, like you you're this, you've become this amazing mom and I get to kind of watch you navigate being an artist and being this like very present and available mother. And that was one of the most amazing experiences shooting the movie was being able to experience Allison, you know, both as a performer, be able to work with her again, but then personally be able to see where she's at in her life and how you know, wonderful she is at navigating both. It was really nice. And you got a very special bracelet off of it. You <laughs> <laughs> do a lot of beating around these parts. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you all so much for the art that you bring into the world. Thank you for this film. Thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thanks so thank much. You. Thank you.